been writing to their MPs. I know it's not always the most kind of thankful job, um, but it's so important. And I just want to say to you that it is working. Like in all my time doing this, I've never seen such reactions from MPs. Like ones who I have written down as the most pro-abortion out there, I'm seeing emails back going, no, I think this is too far. You know, I'm happy with the current law, but this is extreme. So it really is working. Um, and I think we just need to remember how extreme these amendments are. The MPs putting them forward is saying, well, you know, this is just about ensuring that women aren't put in prison. Nobody wants that. Um, I think they're just hoping that nobody actually looks at what these amendments say, because that's not what they say. Um, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about what they actually do say. Um, you know, it's just important to be informed. So for Diana Johnson's amendment, sorry, <laughs> Diana Johnson's new clause one, it's pretty short, so I can just read it out. For the purposes of sections 58 and 59 of the Offences Against the Person Act and the Infant Life Preservation Act, no offence is committed by a woman acting in relation to her own pregnancy. So those bits of law, they, they form the legal underpinning of the current abortion law. The 1967 Act just creates conditions within that where abortions can take place. So if you remove these offences for women entirely, you know, a woman, no offence is committed by a woman, that removes any legal restrictions on a woman regarding her own abortion, any at all. So a woman could abort for any reason, including sex selection, any reason, going on holiday, any reason you could think of, and at any time, there's no limit in there. So she does try to claim that, the, that there is a limit. She says it wouldn't, the, the abortion limit wouldn't change within a healthcare setting. But this is meaningless, as we know, because more than half of abortions now are carried out by a woman in her own home using telemedicine. The pills by post policy that they pushed for and which has had such devastating results, they pushed for this. And now they're using it to try and change the abortion law. So given that so many abortions take place at home anyway, induced by the woman, a woman who induced her abortion at home using pills or any other method, any even less safe method than that, including just before natural birth, would commit no offence. And it's not just that the woman wouldn't be jailed, it's no offence at all. Ending the life of an unborn baby just before birth, hours before birth, would not be illegal, it would not be a criminal offence. And what kind of society wants to do this to women? You know, it, we, we all care about the babies, but we care about the women too. Uh, in, in inducing an abortion at home, particularly at that late stage, it's dangerous. And can you think of anything more traumatic than that? You know, a baby doesn't just disappear. A woman will have to give birth to a dead baby. Um, so, so that's Diana Johnson's amendment. Stella Creese's one is even more deliberately obscure. It's got five different bits. I won't go into it all. Um, but it, it ends up in more or less the same place. It decriminalizes abortion entirely up to 24 weeks and makes it so there can be no custodial sentence and you could only have any kind of offence whatsoever with the direct intervention of the Director for Public Prosecutions. Never going to happen. So it ends up at about the same place. So it really would, both of these would mean abortion up to birth. So these amendments, they're deadly to babies, they're devastating to women, and there's nothing compassionate about it. We don't let them tell us that they're the compassionate ones and we're not. There's nothing compassionate about this. And so that's why we're rallying today. It's why we'll rally next week, because it looks like the actual debate might happen next week. And it's why we'll rally every time that something like this happens, because we're coming out to defend life. So we work towards a day when all life, human life is cherished and protected. But today our message is a very simple one, and it's one that all people of goodwill should be able to agree with. No to abortion up to birth. Thank you.